What's up guys? Back with another video here. Just want to show you guys how to kill guardians today. So a lot of people I know kind of tend to avoid them early on in the game until they get a little stronger. Um, but honestly, as long as you have a decent shield at any point in the game, uh, you can actually easily kill them by deflecting their blasts. So not a lot of people realize you can actually deflect um, their laser blasts that they shoot at you. So I'm going to kind of show you guys some of the techniques that I use to kill them, including that one, and kind of show you guys actually how easy it is to kill them once you get the hang of it. So they're actually really useful for a number of reasons. Um, I'll kind of show you guys here. You can get this uh, guardian armor, or ancient armor I guess you could call it. I only have two pieces right now, uh, but pretty much how you get them is by getting guardian parts, so ancient gears, screws, things like that. Uh, I'll kind of show you guys where they are here. Where am I going? There we go. Yeah, so you get these ancient gears, uh, ancient screws, ancient springs, and I think there's one more. Yeah, here we go. Ancient shaft. So... These are actually really useful. You can get these from killing guardians. Uh, you can sometimes also pick them up in chests and things like that as well. And that's actually how you acquire this armor. And the nice thing about this is once you get it, uh, it gives you resistance against guardians' attacks. So it provides you with a lot more uh, defensive abilities when fighting them. So it's actually really, really useful, especially for later on in the game. Uh, once you progress far in this game, you're going to run into a lot of areas with a ton of guardians. So it actually becomes pretty difficult at some some points if you don't have this armor. Because there's certain places where you run into like a temple or something and there's like, no joke, like 10 guardians. And uh, it's pretty hard to deal with 10 at once. It's really easy when you get a guardian 101, but when you got like 10 guardians coming at you, like in the ancient temple, if any of you guys, if any of you guys know where that is, it's, uh, it can get pretty crazy. So let's go to the map here. I'll show you guys exactly where to get the armor in case anyone's curious. So pretty much you want to go to the Akala region, I believe. Yeah, it's over here. So you want to go to the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. So once you're here, just go inside. Um, at first, if you are just unlocking this, you want to talk to this guy, Robbie, here. Um, and he's going to say, oh, you look like the legendary warrior Link, blah, blah, blah. Um, and he's going to say, oh, too bad there's no way of knowing for sure if you're actually him. Uh, what you want to do at that point is take your armor off and then talk to him again. And then he'll see the scars on your body and then he'll recognize you. And then he'll kind of acknowledge you as the real Link. Um, you don't really need to do that to buy anything, but just in case you're curious, that's how you get him to actually talk to you and stuff. So you want to talk to this machine here. Uh, you can also buy a ton of ancient arrows, ancient shields, ancient bandsaws, sorry, blade saw, stuff like that. Um, but the only thing that are the best thing in here is this armor. So it's 2,000 rupees each. Um, I'm really close to getting the last piece here. Uh, I just need the leg pieces here. I'm 16 out of 20 ancient gears right now. I've got everything else. And then once you get the whole set to upgrade them, uh, you also need to have parts as well. So initially you have to have a ton of parts to buy, and then as you upgrade it, you have to collect more and more parts. So um, once you get it, it should be a lot easier to kill guardians after that just because you'll have resistance to them. So let's go kill some guardians. Best place to kill guardians to get them one on one is uh, head out to somewhere around the Hylian Castle. Uh, let's let's go to Central Tower first because I think there's actually one there.
Alright, guys. Okay, yeah, so there's Guardian right there. Um, now, you'll see the Guardians who have no legs, and they're just kind of stuck in place like these guys are here. Uh, yeah, so, where is he? Like that. There's that one right below me as well. Um, when you kill them, I find they don't give nearly as many parts as these guys here. The one that actually walks around with legs and stuff. These guys give way better drops, so if you have the option, I'd definitely be going after these guys. Now I'm going to be using the Hylian Shield to kill these, just because it has crazy defense and it hardly ever breaks. Uh, usually when you're using a normal shield or something other than Hylian Shield, it'll break after like four or five blasts from a Guardian, which is kind of sucks because you burn through shields extremely fast. So you want to use a Hylian Shield if possible. Uh, that's the most ideal thing to do, but yeah, if you're just starting out a normal shield, you'll be fine. Uh, you're just going to be going th through shields pretty quickly. So let's get started. And hopefully we don't... So just like that, you can deflect them. I'm using my special ability right now. So it's the same idea if you use a shield. You just block with the shield, and then right when you hear the beep, press A. You kind of have to get the timing right. But once you hear the beep, go ahead and press A, and it should deflect the blast right back at him. And it's usually just like that, a three-hit kill. So it's actually really, really easy. Not hard at all. So... Let's go take on some of the other things here. Ooh. Oh my gosh. That might have been a big mistake to come do this at night. <laughs> It's really annoying doing anything at night in this game because these skeletons pop out everywhere. So just like that, boom, one hit kill there, guys. Super, super easy. I know a lot of people, including myself, avoided these like the plague when I first started playing. I thought they were like unkillable. Uh, they were just so strong, but as you progress through the game, you realize they're really not that bad. You saw how easily I just took that one down there. Not a problem at all. Another thing too, guys, if you search these um, old, I guess, dead guardians, you can actually find items. So whenever you see these laying around, it's always a good idea just to go do a quick search. You can usually get uh, either guardian parts or something else good. Alright guys, so I want to show you one other way to kill a guardian other than deflecting blasts with your shield. Um, if you can get up close to them, which is kind of hard sometimes, but if you can get up close to them you can actually chop their legs off um, with a decent sword. Uh, and then you can go ahead and from there just kind of tee off on them with your sword because they'll be completely immobilized uh, and it makes it very very easy to kill these guys so I'm using the master sword right now you don't have to use the master sword obviously uh, any other decent sword will do fine but the trick is just getting close because if you just run up to one of these guys normally they're gonna keep backing up as you run at them so you won't actually be able to get close to them um, usually by doing that just because as you're running they're going to be going backwards and you're not going to be able to make up ground very easily to actually chop off their legs and they're just going to blast away at you so sometimes you have to deflect a couple of their blasts first with a shield before you can get up close to them um, but usually there are other ways you just kind of have to be sneaky sometimes so 
We'll just kind of climb up here. Alright, so I might have to deflect one of these blasts to get up close. And then I can just go ahead and chop off the legs here. That was an absolute thing. And you can just kind of tee off on them. Like this. Until they're dead. And then collect the drops. This guy dropped a lot. Holy smokes. Perfect. So actually, awesome, 33 of these. So I have enough now to get the final piece of ancient armor. So that's perfect. Uh, let's do that right now. So as you can see there, I did have to deflect one blast before I got close enough to it. Just because when you actually deflect the blast right back at him, it'll stun him. Uh, it'll stop him from backing up, and then you can go and go ham on him pretty much. Chop off their legs, and then uh, tee off on them with your sword, and they're done. Sometimes they can still blast you uh, when you're right up against them. So you kind of have to, as you're chopping away at him, the best thing to do usually is to go around him and kind of make him keep constantly having to retarget you. Uh, that way he can't get a good shot off at you. Because I've made that mistake a couple times of just standing in one spot um, for too long and then he'll actually retarget you. Uh, and when you're up close like that, it's really hard to get your shield out and deflect close quarters. So just a quick tip for you guys. And let's go get this last piece of armor quick. Ancient Greaves, Snake Exchange. <laughs> awesome. There we go, guys. Full Guardian Armor. Looks solid. And this is going to help me out quite a bit now that i got this last piece. I've got... Uh, a lot more resistance guardians. Uh, the next thing will just be upgrading it, so you can obviously upgrade armor in this game, guys, to make it stronger. Um, so to upgrade it, I'll have to collect some more parts, but that shouldn't be too hard, uh, as you can, ju as you just saw in the video here. It's not that hard to kill these guardians once you progress through the game and you get some better weapons and whatnot. So yeah, hopefully this video helped you guys out a bit and helps you kill some guardians. See ya.